Hi guys, so in this lesson we're going to look at two things, the magnitude of a vector and unit vectors, and they are quite very much related. So firstly, before I do this, let's just go back to like vectors in 2D. Imagine I have the vector, I don't know, let's go 5, 3, something like that. So this is the vector 5, 3. We've gone along five, one, two, three, four, five, and up three. What's the what is the magnitude of this vector? Well, hopefully you can see that the way to get it would be to use Pythagoras' theorem. The the magnitude of this vector and the magnitude you can see here. The, this is how you write the magnitude. You put it in these kind of in these modulus signs. So the magnitude. Let's say this was v. This is the vector v v equals this, the magnitude of v is just going to be the square root of 5 squared plus 3 squared, because that's Pythagoras' theorem. That's 5, that's 3, that's v, v squared equals this squared plus this squared. So the length of v, or the magnitude of v is just the square root of this, which will be 25 plus 9, 34. So it's root 34, and you can just leave it like that. That's fine. That is in exact form. Now, when we go into three dimensions, so this is in 2D, when we go into three dimensions, it's the same thing, and you may or may not remember, hopefully you do, from um, a previous topic when we got the when we got the length between the distance between two corners of a cuboid. Um, it was in the topic th 3D trigonometry, I called it. Um, it's the same kind of thing. Um, this is essentially Pythagoras' theorem in 3D. So to get the magnitude of a vector, all we have to do, so this guy's, this is A, so the magnitude of A is, we're basically using Pythagoras' theorem in three dimensions. So it's the, let me do that again, it is the square root of, and look, the nice thing about this is because you're squaring negatives, it's all just Gonna, it's just going to be 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 4 squared. I, we will put in the negative 4 just to be clear, but 1 squared plus 2 squared plus minus 4 squared. Don't please make the mistake of saying this is 1 squared plus 2 squared minus, uh, minus 4 or minus 16. Obviously, it's plus 16. So this is then the square root of the square root of 1 plus 4 plus 16 which is, I don't need such a big square root, the square root of 21. 16 plus 4 is 20 plus 21, and leave it like that. Of course, if, you, if they want it given to a certain number of decimal places, fine, but I prefer that. That's exact form. Nice, so that's easy. That's the magnitude of a vector. Next example, position vectors a and b sorry, points A and B have position vectors, this and this, find the length of A, B. So I've put in this example just to kind of make sure we all understand. There's a difference between a point and a position vector. So when they say find the length A, B, the, the length of the vector A, B, that's the vector that goes from point A to point B. It's neither this nor this, and I need to find A, B. So the way I find A, B, again, hopefully you remember this from the previous lesson, a, B is B minus A, provided these are position vectors, and they are, because it says it. So A, B is, A, B is 3, negative 1, negative 2, minus 1, 2, negative 4. So we have to get this first, which is 3 minus 1 is 2, negative 1 minus 2 is negative 3, and negative 2 minus negative 4 is negative 2 plus 4, which is Two. So it's 2, negative 3, 2. So then the magnitude of AB, the magnitude of AB is equal to the square root, again, straight from the formula booklet, the square root of 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. Again, you can just write plus 3 squared there, plus 2 squared, which is the square root of 2 squared. 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 9, 17, square root of 17. That's the magnitude. Next one. 
find a unit vector parallel to three, two, three, one. So what's a unit vector? A unit vector, quite simply, is a vector of length one. So it's like one unit. So our magnitude one. So the magnet we need a, a vector that has a magnitude of one. This guy's this well this vector, his magnitude is um okay, well let's say let let A equal this two three one. So if A is equal to this, what is the length of A or the magnitude of A? Well the magnitude of A is square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared, which is the square root of 4, 9 is 13, plus 1 is 14. So th it's root 14. So that is not, that is a magnitude, uh, sorry, that is a vector not of magnitude 1, it is of magnitude 14. But if I have a vector, if its magnitude is 14, how can I find a vector that's parallel to that, so going the same direction, but has only a magnet of magnitude one. Well, I simply I divide the vector by root fourteen, because if it's a, if it has a length of of root fourteen, and I divide by root fourteen, now it has a length of one, a bit like a bit like this. Um, well, let's say okay. Let me give you a more simple example. Imagine I have a vector one zero zero. So this guy has clear. Let me write that again. This guy one zero zero clearly has length one. But imagine I had um, six zero zero. So this guy's length is, or his magnitude is six. So how can I find a, a magnitude of, uh, or sorry, a vector of magnitude one? Well, I just divide it by six. So I say one sixth of this, which is this divided by six, which is one, this divided by six is zero, zero. This is a vector in the same direction as this, so parallel to this, but now it has a has a magnitude one. So hopefully that makes sense. So if I want to get a unit vector, all I do is divide the vector by um, its magnitude. And there's a little there's a little formula for this that's not in the formula booklet. Let me write this in red. It's a hat, so hat for unit vector, is equal to 1 over the magnitude of a times a. Obviously, you could just put the a there, but we write it like that just so it's very clear what you're doing. Um, and when you, when you write out, the, when you do a scalar, multiplied by a vector, and this is a scalar, the, the, the magnitude is a scalar, um, it looks, well, it works out better like this. So the um, unit vector, a hat, let's call it, for this situation is 1 over root 14 times 2, 3, 1. And I can actually leave it like that. If you want to write it like this, 2 over root 14 3 over root 14 and 1 over root 14 that is absolutely fine do a big bracket here now if you were to get the and try it actually if you want to get the magnitude of this vector you'll see you get uh, 1 and it's and you can actually see it here because it's going to be this squared plus this squared plus this squared and which is just going to be uh, this squared plus this squared plus this squared is going to be 4 over 14 plus 9 over 14 plus 1 over 14, which gives you 14 over 14, and it's, that's that's 1. The square root of it is 1. Okay, final one. Find a vector of length 6 units parallel to this. Right, so let, let's go with A again, why not? Let A equal. Now, I said to you in the past, I prefer, and I think everyone prefers, dealing with vectors in this form rather than a ijk form. ijk form just simply makes, it just looks more difficult because you've got three letters in there, where here I don't actually have, um, I don't have three letters. I don't have any letters. So this is a, the magnitude of a, the magnitude of a is um, 
the square root of 2 squared. I'm going to just go plus 3 squared plus 5 squared. And this is equal to 4 plus 9, 4 plus 9 plus 25, which is 34, 38. So this is root 38. And is that right? 25 plus 9 is 34 plus 4 is 38. Yes. So this is magnitude 38. So a unit vector parallel to this, a unit vector parallel to this is, um, let's go with a hat is equal to 1 over 38, 1 over root 38 times 2, negative 3, 5. So this is a unit vector. Vector of length 6, let's go magnitude, same thing, magnitude, vector of magnitude 6 parallel to this will be just this multiplied by 6. And I can write that as 6 over root 38, 6 over root 38 times 2, 2, negative 3, and 5. And again, if you want, you can multiply this in to give you 12 over root 38, 12 over root 38, negative 18 over root 38, and 30 over root 38. And remember, guys, this, I have to draw that again, this is exactly the same as this. You can write, you can write a scalar times a vector is the same as the scalar times a vector multiplied it, uh, multiplied it by each component inside like this. Okay, that's the lesson on magnitude. Hopefully, the, I think the magnitude part is straightforward. Often, the, the unit vector stuff, people find a little bit challenging at the start to kind of understand what's going on. Just remember, you're looking for a vector of, of magnitude 1. So you just divide by its magnitude, and that gives you magnitude 1. That's it. Um, hope it all made sense, and I'll see you in the next lesson.